Following in the footsteps of many U.S. leaders before her, Vice President Kamala Harris on the heavily fortified DMZ border separating the two Koreas, touring the famous blue huts of the Panmunjom Truce Village, where an armistice signed in 1953 ended the Korean War. Looking into North Korea itself, with relations soured once more in a region of growing tensions. In the north, we see a brutal dictatorship rampant human rights violations and an unlawful weapons program that threatens peace and stability. The United States and the world seek a stable and peaceful Korean Peninsula where the DPRK is no longer a threat. Harris had come to Asia to attend the state funeral in Tokyo of former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, indicating the importance of relations with its ally Japan as a counter to the growing strength of China. In Seoul, she met with President Yoon Suk-yeol, hoping for the same level of continued cooperation. For seven decades, the alliance between the United States and the Republic of Korea has been a linchpin of security and prosperity. On the Korean Peninsula and in the Indo-Pacific and throughout the globe. I am here to reinforce the strength of our alliance and strengthen our work together. The last significant U.S. visit to the DMZ was in 2019, when President Donald Trump met with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un at the height of their summit diplomacy aimed at denuclearizing the Korean Peninsula. Hopes of North Korea giving up its nuclear weapons have all but evaporated, with leader Kim Jong-un recently enshrining in law its status as a nuclear-armed power. And South Korean intelligence officials believe the North has now completed preparations for another nuclear test. It would be the first such test in five years and comes as a U.S. naval strike group led by the aircraft carrier Ronald Reagan conducts joint drills in Korean waters. Again, another first in five years. She leaves the peninsula with the deepening tensions increasingly reminiscent of previous times. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Paju, South Korea.